In this video, we'll discuss radiation and how it relates to thermography. The word thermography relates to heat. It's a technique used to measure radiant heat and detects variations in surface temperatures. So say for example, we have a horse. When we use equipment that gives us an infrared image of the horse, this is what we see. There are areas that are warmer and cooler as indicated by the color scale on the side. The mane and tail are green, which are cool. And this makes sense since they don't produce heat because they are composed of hair. Let's see an example. We need to understand what we mean by heat transfer by radiation from a given area. When we're talking about radiation, we mean the emission of radiation into the environment by an object at a temperature T. Say we have a lizard. It gets radiation from the sun and it also emits radiation into the environment in the form of heat. Now that we know this, we can return to the question and compare emitted power using Stefan's law. This is an equation that relates emitted power to emissivity, temperature, area, and a constant. In this case, we're using human skin at different temperatures. Since it's the same object, emissivity and area are the same. When we make a ratio and compare the two temperatures, emissivity and area cancel out. So you can see that we're just left with temperatures. But it's in Celsius and we need to convert it to Kelvin. To convert to Kelvin from Celsius, you need to know that 0 Celsius equals 273 Kelvin. So to get Kelvin from Celsius, we add 273 Kelvin to our temperatures. This gives us 308 Kelvins and 305 Kelvins, and we can work with this. When you plug the numbers in, we get a fraction, but we want a percentage. Be sure to pay attention to how we do the conversion. We want the percentage change, so we first take our original temperature minus our new temperature. This gives us the change in temperature. We divide this number by our original T and times it by 100% to get a percentage, and we get 4%. Here is a similar question. A small area of landscape is emitting radiation at different temperatures. We can do exactly like before, being sure to convert to Kelvin from Celsius. I'll let you get the percentage increase on your own. You should get 19%. This is also the change in emitted power that is easily detected. An infrared camera can typically detect differences in temperature of 0.5 degrees or even less. Hopefully you found this helpful in understanding the concept of thermography.